YouTube, this is Sleek Talk, and I'm back with another video. What a night. What a fucking night. What is it, 100,000 people watching live? And then people still want to talk that he's just a YouTuber. That's all he'll ever be. He's just a YouTuber. Get the fuck out of here. I'm one of the biggest media personalities out right now. And that is a fact. I want to give a big salute to Casper Invest, his manager, and the whole of Bridging the Gap Entertainment for the level of professionalism. Usually, I'm very apprehensive when it comes to nigger shit because I'm thinking it's going to be some nigger shit. I'm thinking niggas are going to be going up and down, up and down. You do an interview and there's 10 niggas in the room. That's what I was thinking. But those guys kept the level of professionalism high and I appreciate that. And I have to say, like, you never know how big Casper Invest is until an event like that happens. I've been doing my videos for over two years. I've trended multiple times, but that was the first time ever that after an event like that, that I'm getting people, I'm getting calls from people that I thought were dead. I'm getting calls from niggas that I thought were dead because of Casping Invest. That's how big this nigga is, and I have to say I respect him for that. In terms of the fight, <clears throat> I told myself one thing: I don't care if this nigga beats me to a pulp. When I leave that ring. I'm going to have his respect. And when he looked in my eye, he saw somebody that was prepared to die in that ring. I was not leaving that ring without the money. I was not about to go home with nothing. That was not going to happen. He looked in my eyes and he saw a nigga that was prepared to die. And I also gained a lot of respect for that nigga. I also gained a lot of respect for Casper in your vest. And I have to say, people, I did get the money so you can relax. I got paid early in the morning so you can relax. Casper in your vest and his team kept their word, I got paid early in the morning. For those thinking that my channel from now on is gonna be a sunshine and rainbow channel, a happy, happy, go lucky channel, get the fuck out of here. If you're thinking Slick Talk needs to humble himself, get the fuck out of here. I'm still gonna be giving smoke and I'm still gonna keep the energy. I'm not gonna change my content because of anybody. It's still gonna be the way I am. I'm still gonna be providing smoke to niggas. In terms of the boxing match, my strategy for me was simple. I was just gonna defend for two rounds and try to look for a haymaker in the third round. I went there for the money. I didn't give a damn about punching cash when vest. I wanted, I was against the clock. That's what I was looking at. I was against the clock. So my strategy was just defend, 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 and just run the time up. Hold, defend, do whatever you gotta do to run that clock up. And Casper Vest did what he had to do, man. And I wanna salute Casper Vest for that. But for me, in terms of the boxing match, I did what I needed to do, and I think I got what I got from that because and I'm appreciative. Uh -huh.